So when I did wake up, I asked the doctor, I was like, what's going on with my legs? Because they had me flat, you know, so I couldn't see. And you know, he told me that uh, my legs were amputated and stuff, and I was like, will I ever be able to walk again? And he said, yes, in time you'll be able to walk again, but it won't be the same. My third question was, so I can't fight anymore? That was my third question. <laughs> Hey, my name is John Esposito, and I train out of Weapons 9 Gym. Hey, what's up, Papa? Muay Thai was my first martial art. It was pretty clear ever since that, you know, like when I started that I wanted to do stand up, yeah. I was a pretty aggressive fighter. I walked forward a lot. My most memorable fight, though, was when I fought Remy. He was just the best. I mean, still, you know, he's still the best, but like just at the time, he was the best in my weight class, and uh, I was really excited to fight him. Saturday, we have fight training here. I watch these guys every Saturday. I know in my heart I'm supposed to be in this room. I know that I'm supposed to be in here sparring these guys and clinching with them and putting the sweat and working. It kills me sometimes, you know, that I'm not able to do that just yet, but uh, that's why it's motivating me so much more to move as quick as I can so I can get back to that point. <laughs> I was a road worker. We were doing construction. We were filling in potholes on the side of the road. And we were taking our last shovels holes and um, a car came behind me, you know, going around like 45, 50 miles per hour. Um, ended up pinning me against the machine we were working next to and ended up, actually the amputation happened on the spot. Halfway through the flight on the medevac, I flatlined. Um, they were able to resuscitate me though and bring me back to life. Afterwards though, you know, it was like, kind of like, Damn, you know, like, it is what it is. I just have to move on from this point and uh, keep going. I love working with Chris. He does it just purely out of, like, love for the sport and love for me, you know, and I can't thank him enough. You know, he's been a great supporter, and we learn together, figure out the best ways to go about, like, you know, hitting pads or doing a workout or something like that. He does whatever he can to like modify it to where I can still do it and feel, you know, do a good job and, you know, it's, but it's still a challenge. I got to be grateful, you know, how fast I'm moving and everything. But um, Chris Tran, though, uh, he's been a great, great supporter and he picks me up every Saturday. These guys, like, I don't, they, they offer everything to me, you know, they, they want to help me and I don't even ask for it, they're just good people. The Muay Thai community has been such great supporters for me, and uh, it's awesome. It's just crazy because it's just, uh, you meet so many people, you know, you meet so many people and good people, and um, for them to give me this type of support is crazy. I would like to fight now if I could, you know. I mean, I definitely don't have the cardio right now, <laughs> but um, as soon as possible. Muay Thai boxing is definitely where that's the goal, the end goal, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to do that stuff again um, and do what I love.